Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Huge patch from Nvidia today. We're gonna look at this. So first of all, in the driver section, make sure that you update first of all your driver. So download the new one and install it. And after that, you will see an option uh, to relaunch your Nvidia app because your Nvidia app will also update so in the new uh, driver you will see that you have a couple of new game ready like the new assassin's creed with dlss for a multi-frame generation uh, they also introduce more support with the dlss override i have a dedicated uh, guide on my uh channel to show you how to override the dlss version for the new one the fourth one so this is pretty cool but also they did an update to the nvidia app so i'm gonna show you something Right now, you have the NVIDIA app and you have the control panel and you have different options in the control panel that are not necessarily available in your NVIDIA app. And I feel in the future, uh, the control panel will probably be discontinued. It's pretty much a legacy, but they're missing a lot of features in the NVIDIA app. So now they push two new features. So the first one is scaling. Uh, this option was in the uh, control uh, panel before. Now you can do it in NVIDIA app. And the last one, it's the color. So really cool over here. So if you have to change uh, for 10 bits, you can do that over there. Dynamic range, brightness, uh, digital vibrance also. It's all in your NVIDIA app. But the biggest change, and I really, really like it because uh, we were asking it for a long time. So in the program setting, you can select, for example, a game that's compatible with DLSS. And uh, on the uh, last biggest patch from NVIDIA, uh, you were going to the DLSS override and you were selecting, for example, the latest version. So you override the DLSS tree in the game to push the fourth one. But now you have another option in the override section over there. You click. And before you added DLAA and Ultra Performance, they were pushing those two one because in the majority of game, DLAA was not available and also Ultra Performance. So uh, NVIDIA was forcing it with your drivers. But now you have a new option called Custom. So this one is pretty cool because you can change the percentage of your input resolution. So for an example, when you use quality in the game, normally you will play at 67% of the resolution and the upscaling technique will put it back. Um, and the DLLA, you're playing at 100%. So this is pretty much the best image quality uh, parameter. So normally you will lose 8 to 10% when you're using DLLA. And when you're using quality, for an example, at 67%, normally you can gain like 10 to 12% in your FPS and you have a couple of options over there. But now with custom, you can select between 33 and 100. So for, this, for an example, if you feel like quality is too low for you because you have a good amount of FPS, you can put 80, you just apply, and now you will have a custom super resolution. So this is pretty huge because honestly, uh, it really depends on the game and you, that the computer that you have. But if you go lower with the percentage, you will have more FPS, less image quality. If you go higher, you will have less FPS, but a better image quality. So now you can really like do it by yourself. Uh, this is a very, very cool option. And you can do it pretty much on all the, the game compatible with it right now. And NVIDIA is uh, working very hard to, to, to put more of them. Uh, because when they launched it, uh, you didn't have a lot of game that you can override the DLSS. But now it's getting a lot better. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube channel. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.